Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I had a bit of an idea and I needed a piece of material and I just happened to have this big lump of aluminium so I've just left my saw running while I went and had a cup of tea and a piece of cake. You know, which is good isn't it? And uh, this piece here has been cut off. So, oop, flash, flash. So let's see if this will do what I'm hoping it will do. Here in my lathe is a carburetor top and the, the idea that I had was to basically cut this so it fits on there like that. I'll take that out and I'll take that out. That will go on there. This will get... I'll drill and tap some holes and screw the carb top on and then what I'll do I'll face off this end down to um, leaving a, a round bit there and then I will turn this round and hold the round bit in the chuck and then I can screw other carb tops on and machine this part because I've got quite a few carb tops that have the um, truck type um, attachment for the air filter which I can't use so I thought I would turn them to simulate this diameter here just an idea that I had and I've got a lump of metal, I can do some drilling and tapping and um, you know, just a little interesting job. You see that carburetor top there? It's got that sort of angled flange around it. I want to machine that flange off so that I can fit a standard type air filter. Not an original Ford one, because the original Ford one relies on there being scallops taken, taken out of that surface, which I can't really replicate. But that's the type of carburetor top flange, and I want to be able to machine those off. I just set it up to put a little chamfer on it, but there's a bit of run out. A bit of run out on that um, face. I've put the other chuck jaws in. Hang on, let me stop it. <laughs> yeah, I have my gloves on because um, the metal's cold. But um, yeah, you have to always be very, very mindful of your surroundings when you're working a lathe okay I'll just put a chamfer on but I'll set it up differently to do the facing cut the reason I'm saying that is because the chuck might hit the uh, tool post on a power fade now. <laughs> Living a nice finish that is. Took a long time, didn't it? Okay, I've more, I've more or less lost that chamfer, so I'll uh, put the chamfer on. I'll see if I can do it with a tool this way round. That'll 
will do. You've got to be a bit careful because you've got these chuck jaws sticking out here. That's not bad. Nice. So now I need to go and do some drilling and tapping. I've clamped the carb top to it and I'm just going to spot through on the drilling machine. I don't know if you can see down the holes, but you see where I've gone down. Maybe you see where I've gone down with the drill and just spotted through. Obviously, I haven't done that fifth hole there. Okay, I need to drill and tap those now. You can see there, 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 and there. Okay, I want to drill in five millimeters, and I just remembered I bought this El Cheapo set of taps but I bought it because it's got the correct size tapping drills and it's a 4.2 that I need so I've got that out of that box I just spent ages looking for a 4.2 mil drill and then I've just re re realized that I'd got one so let's see if I can put that there I'm just going to go a little bit old school on this and see if I can uh, you know just do it on the drilling machine because I've got my my milling machine is set up for doing flywheels. I just realised I've done it, done it on the wrong side, but it doesn't really matter. When you drill, always make sure that your drill is over the hole in the table. Saves all those uh, pecker trails. Okay, got four holes now. So I need to think about how I'm going to do this. Right, here's an M5 tap. I think I might need to do this in the in the milling machine. What you're supposed to lube this up with? I'm not sure. I'll just stick a bit of oil on it. Oops. Right. Okay. Push me up. Okay. Now I can't run this machine backwards thinking about it. Okay, I'll take the tap out. Undo that. Finish it off, uh, turning it by hand, then I'll take it out. Okay, well that seemed to work okay. So let's uh, try it again. If you ever, if you ever tap in, you must make sure that you haven't got the depth stops engaged on the on your drill, so that the tap can pull the drill down. Do you know what I mean? Pull the quill down is what I mean, I suppose. Okay. Let's uh, put a bit of a roll on it. Right, let's go for it. 
got my thing, got my hand on the off switch. Okay. I went a bit further that time. So it should just be a case of unwinding it now. Some years ago I bought this uh, set of Allen bolts and I realised after buying it that it's basically all oddball sizes that you'd never used, use anywhere and I'd obviously put it together just to get rid of them. But in there is an M5 by 10 I mean a hundred of those. So uh, there's <laughs> loads there, look loads there and I've just picked four out to use on this job. You know, there's like things like this, and they have been useful over the years. Uh, you know, so M4 they are, and theirs. So it has been useful actually. I'd get another set if I could. So I've used up all the M8s. I've just um, I've just set the lathe running to to skim that other face the one that was a little bit rough take this out of the chuck so the idea is the carb top goes on one of these faces now I don't know if it's uh, symmetrical. Could go on this face. Yeah, it is symmetrical actually. So let's see if it screws on. Okay. That's not bad actually because um, they've all gone in and started, and they're dead on size. Those holder drill. I've put a 5mm drill through the holes and th these are 5mm screws and I've drilled and tapped the holes and they've all lined up okay. I hope you can see that. So that's all screwed on now look. So now I'm going to hold this part in the chuck and then skim this to a diameter that I can then hold in the chuck to skim this on another card. That'd be interesting, won't it? This will do up on here, which it will. That'll be okay. Do I want to centre drill it? I could centre drill it, couldn't I? Okay. I'm aware that everything is a bit, um, you know, um, fragile. I'm going to put a centre in it. Check for clearance. Keep hands clear. Not running it too fast because it's an eccentric cut. Eccentric cut, I meant eccentric uh, load, you know. Okay, so now we'll put a centre in. It's funny, doesn't it, running eccentric like that? And that centre's, you know, <laughs> on centre. So that's good because that'll locate that now. Okay. So let's um, think about how I'm going to do this now. It is an um, interrupted cut, so you need to be a bit careful. That's why I wanted to put a centre on. Let's see where, that's about where I need to start, isn't it?
works. Oh damn! I did. Oh, I didn't twig what was going on then. Look, I've I've broke that. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? I couldn't understand why uh, it cut and then stopped cutting and then carried on cutting. Oh, okay. Oh well, the damage is done now, isn't it? That damage is done. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? That's a shame. Oh, the threads look all right as well. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, that's just ruined that carb top. Oh well. <laughs> it was a spare one. Um, I suppose that I will revive some of the other types. So yeah, okay. I wish I'd have known just what was going to happen then. I want to go a bit further. Yeah, probably just another couple of cuts. Oh well, I'll I'll carry on. I've done the damage now. I'll just carry on. <laughs> So they call it having a visit from Mr. Bozo in the machinist community. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reverse the uh, feed and I'm going to start here, cut in and then cut out. Reverse the feed, Mart, like that. <laughs> see it on the camera but it gives a great finish okay I think that's it okay right other than my visit from Mr Bozo that's given a great finish hasn't it um, let's do a quick sort of look see So the idea is that that will chuck in the chuck jaws, not these chuck jaws, but though that will chuck in the chuck jaws and stick out. So let's get the other chuck jaws in. So we're going to chuck on there now. Which it does nicely. So let's just see, because this one's a bit damaged now, but it's damaged anyway, it's, it's scrap, which is bloody annoying. Get this out of the way, don't want another accident. Okay. So you can see from that that I'll be able to put another card top on and just skim it. Good in it. So look see if I can find one. This is where I dropped the screws in the uh, swarf. <laughs> Looks quite neat, doesn't it? Really. What a dirt brain! Look at that. Not really much to say about that, is there? Other than being a well. The, the standard screws are um, 
1032 which is just a little bit smaller than 5mm but the holes are drilled well as close as I can tell 5mm um, you know to uh, allow a slight clearance on the screw so how will, how will that look when I start that up then let's have a look Yeah, it looks okay, I think. Take a measurement. That's interesting that it's just started touching on there, but if there is a little bit of run out, it's close. Yeah, okay. okay, that's about as close as I can get then. Shame it ain't kind of come up a bit further, but I've, I've had to leave a little thing there, a little lip. Still, you know, hey, it's, it's alright, isn't it? Not... Not my finest work, but hey. Well, there we go. That's all right, I think. I think that's okay. I think that'll work okay. So, the bottom line is, things like this are a little bit hard to find in this country, but, you know, so if the... If the ones with the wedge shaped tapered top come up Th that means they can be, be adapted for the more common type air filters so although i've had a couple of mishaps i think that's come out quite nice actually that uh, adapter i hope you found that interesting um i'll do what all the youtubers do and just ask you if you would like to subscribe and, and click like and leave a comment Leave a comment and let me know what you're up to. What are you doing? What are you working on? Okay, thanks a lot then. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then. Bye.